Good day everyone, my name is Shirley Mendoza. I'm the first supporter for topic number two, which is accounting in the corporation. Before anything else, I would like to ask, if you hear the word accounting, what comes first in your mind? Maybe some of us will think about money, businesses, interest, receivable, finances, profit, and so on and so forth. And that's all correct. However, today we will just focus on how accounting works in a corporation. So, let's begin. How does the controller delve into, into the specifics of the controller job description? So, before a controller can delve into the specifics of the controller job description, it is first necessary to determine how the accounting function fits into the rest of the organization. The accounting staff process transactions to support business operations, period. Always remember that. For me, it says that it's like the backbone of the company. Okay, so let's continue. This required the large clerical staff managed by a small cadre of people trained in the underlying techniques for processing those transactions. So here, we can say that it must be led by a small group of people who are really trained for a particular purpose or profession so that they can have a smooth transaction at the end of the day. The role has undergone a vast change in the last few decades as the technological improvements, the level of competition, and shifting view of management theory have resulted in a startlingly different accounting function. So before, we all know that we started in using calculators and all that stuff, paper and pen. However, now that we are in a very high-tech or athletic world, we use computers for storing our data and everything. This section describes how the accounting function now incorporates many additional tasks and can even include the internal auditing and computer services functions in smaller organizations. It then goes on to describe how this functional area fits into and serves the needs of the rest of the company and how the controller fits into the accounting function. Finally, there is a discussion of how ethics drives the behavior of accounting employees and how this shapes the way the accounting staff and controllers see their roles within the organization. In short, this section covers the high-level issues of how the accounting function and its controller fit into the modern company, not only to process its transactions, which was its traditional role, but also to provide additional services. Task of the accounting function. The accounting function has had sole responsibility for processing the bulk of a company's transactions for many years. Chief among these transactions have been the processing of customer billings and supplier invoices. Though these two areas comprise the bulk of the transactions, there has also been a long history of delegating asset tracking to the accounting function. This involves all transactions related to the movement of cash, inventory, and fixed assets. Finally, the accounting staff has been responsible for tracking that 
which can involve a continuous tracking of debt levels by debt instrument as well as the payments made to reduce them. These have been the transaction-based activities of the accounting staff. A multitude of changes in the business environment have altered the role of the accounting function. One change has been the appearance of the computer services function. The accounting staff has other new responsibilities that have arisen due to increased level of competition. With worldwide barriers to competition crumbling, every company feels the pinch of lower competitive prices and now asks the accounting staff to provide analysis work in addition to the traditional transaction processes. In addition, technology has drastically altered the skill levels required to the accounting staff. Traditional accounting task. It involves accounts payable transaction processing, accounts receivable transaction processing, asset transaction processing, debt transaction processing. For the new accounting task, bartering transactions, coordination and consolidation of accounting at subsidiaries, currency translations, margin analysis, and product cost analysis, selection, implementation, and operation of the accounting software and related systems, and target costing. In the new tasks assigned to the accounting function of smaller companies, computer services systems installation and maintenance, hedging and letter of the credit transactions, and eternal auditing programs. Given today's highly volatile and ever-changing business environment, the only safe statement to make about the new activities presented in this session is that they will only become more complex, requiring even greater skill by the accounting staff to be accomplished in a manner that is both efficient and effective. And that's all for today. Thank you.